Hey everyone, Chuck from Chuck Wagon MTG. Thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, we've got another booster box opening, Ixalan, um, the set that is just so near and dear to my heart. Um, I am just, I'm loving this set. I really am. Um, I mean, what's not to love? We got dinosaurs. We got merfolks. We got pirates. I mean, yeah. Please, I'll take it all. All right. Oh, and I'm just knocking the camera around. Awesome. That's good for it. All right. I'll try to be a little more careful and not, like, destroy everything as I'm doing this. All right. So, here we go. Without further ado, let's just start blasting through these packs. That's the best way to do it. All right. Per usual, skipping past all those commons and we're gonna go straight to the good stuff that y'all want to see oh let me get like actually focused here and like in the way all right we have emergent growth steadfast armosaur drover of the mighty and our rare is kinjali's sunwing <laughs> man this is so i'm just curious what are y'all playing right now uh, we've had a second to kind of look at what's going on here. What are you playing now? Um, you know, what's your new standard? Just curious. Leave a comment below. Let me let me know what's going on here. All right, we have a Sentinel Totem, Emissary of Sunrise, River Sneak, good stuff right there, and our rare is Ruin Raider. <clears throat> oh, sorry, didn't mean to do that like right in your ear. I'm going to attempt to edit that out, but I will probably forget. That's kind of what I do. It's my thing. All right. We have, as I destroy more cards over here off camera, Sheltering Light, Tempest Caller, so good. Merfolk, Branchwalker, and our rare is uh, Takatli Honor Guard. And we got a Foil Demolish. No lands and or artifacts for you. All right, we have a Stormfleet Arsonist. Slice in Twain, chart a course, and our rare is Legion's Landing. That was actually pretty good to me during pre-release. Um, if you can get it out quick enough, uh, it just, not necessarily the life gain, just the instant blockers was just very nice. All right, we have Inspiring Cleric. Deep Root Waters, good stuff. Snapping Sailback, and our rare is Regisaur Alpha. We can go ahead and put him in the good pile because he's worth a few bucks. At least I think he still is. Oh, excuse me, my stomach's letting me know it's time to eat. Hopefully it didn't come through on camera. I'll have to edit that out, too. <laughs> we have Inspiring Cleric. Uh, at Takan Archer. Deadeye Plunderers. And our rare is Sunbird's Invocation. Alright, we got Heartless Pillage. Call to the Feast, Raptor Hatchling, and Sorcerer's Spyglass. I'm trying to hustle through this so y'all don't get bored. I try to look out for you guys. Alright, we have a Rigging Runner. Glora Fire of Dusk. Stormfleet Spy, and our rare is... Emperor's Vanguard with a foil, one with the wind. All right, we'll go ahead and take that. All right, we have Field of Ruin, Trove of Temptation, Call to the Feast, and our rare is Hostage Taker. I will take that. Har, 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 har. I'll see myself out. All 
Oh, I got a sneak peek. I think we got a foil. We have a Vine Shaper Mystic, Imperial Lancer, Dead Eye Quartermaster, and our rare is. Well, winner, winner, chicken dinner. We got a foil hostage taker. Yes, please. Put that in the yeah, we'll put that in the foil pile because it's still shiny. And a primal amulet. Yeah, I'll take a foil hostage taker. That's good stuff right there. Alright. Lightning Rig Crew. Air Elemental. Snapping sailback into our rare is Sanctum Seeker. All right, last pack in the first stack of the box. We are one third of the way through. All right, we have favorable winds, raging raptors, shapers of nature, and our rare is revel in riches. That's still, I still have hopes for this card. I, it's it's going to be. It's got potential. It's got potential. Maybe not good potential. Maybe it's just fun potential, but there's potential there. <clears throat> oh, I'm just, I think I'm parched. That's part of my problem. Parched. All right, we have Sentinel Totem. Deathless Agent. Emissary of Sunrise. And our rare is another foil set. I think that means we got a flip card for our rare. We have a Spike Tailed Ceratops and a treasure map is our rare all right i think that's how that's working here if, if your rares are flipping you got a foil the foils in front in front in front of the rare yay i'm learning all right we have a navigator's ruin ruthless knave dire fleet captain in our rare is Tila. Talon, Talonales, Talonales. There we go, Talonales skin shifter. Well, it's, I think I'm tired too. Oh, sweet, and we got a foil mythic EDH. Here we come. Uh, a foil axis of mortality. All right, first mythic of the box. I just noticed that we haven't got any mythics. <laughs> All right, oh well, yeah, we got a foil axis of mortality, so um, yeah, I'll go ahead and take that. Like I said, by itself, I don't think it's worth a whole lot, but the foil version, um, EDH, I mean, that's just having two players exchange life totals, that just seems kind of brutal in EDH. All right, we have a Duskborn Sky Marcher, Merfolk Branch Walker, Charging Monster Soar, perfect name, and our rare is Fathom Fleet Captain. All right, we have Wanted Scoundrels, Raging Swordtooth. Dark Nourishment in our rare is... Hey, our second Mythic of the box. Uh, Gisheth's Sun's Avatar. Make a new pile here, because we finally got a Mythic. That isn't foil. I really don't count the foils towards account because it's just not the thing. It's not like how it works. At least that's how it works in my world. So, My world's a pretty fun place. All right, we have Deep Root Waters, Ruthless Knave, Bonded Horncrest, and our rare is Sun Petal Grove, and we got a Foil Slice in Twain. All right, we got a Field of Ruin. Wily Goblin? Yeah, that's a weird goblin with a fuzzy tail like that. I, I, I'm not sure how I feel about calling him a goblin. I just don't know. All right, we have Adanto Vanguard, and our rare is River's Rebuke. That thing did work for me at pre-release. 
It's like, oh, put all your stuff back in your hand. I'm going to swing. All right. We have Vicious Conquistador. Dark Nourishment. Unclaimed Territory. And our rare is Bishop of Rebirth. I think we got another one in this box, didn't we? No, we didn't. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Stuff's starting to run together now. All right, come on, something good. We have Kimena Speaker, Tempest Caller, good stuff. Thundering, spun back, and our rare is Search for Escanta. All right, I will take that. That's a uh... yeah, that goes in the good pile. All right, we have Lookout's Dispersal, Savage Stomp, Atepic, Huntmaster. One day I will be able to pronounce that without any issues. And our rare is Vanquisher's Banner. All right. Oh. We have Wild Growth Walker, Perilous Voyage, Raging Sword Tooth, and our rare is a Drowned Catacombs. Shoo, come on, something. Got to pull up on the controls for this box here because it is not going well. Kite Sail, Freebooter, Sleek Schooner, Fiery Cannonade, and our rare is Burning Sun's Avatar. All right, well... All right, this pack puts us two-thirds of the way through the box. We've got one Mythic. I mean, we did get a Foil Mythic. Uh, not a great one, but uh, so far we are behind the curve, so we got to do something to pull out of this uh, little death spiral we got going on. we got Favorable Winds, Lightning Strike, Seeker, Squire, and our rare is Ruin Raider. All right, third stack is the Charm. This is where it all turns around. We get all happy and pulling good stuff, and it's just everything's awesome. All right, we have the Wily Goblin that I think is a monkey. Bishop of the Bloodstained. Dead Eye Quartermaster, and our rare is Gorging Ceratops. Next pack, this is where it starts getting good. <clears throat> Navigator's Ruin, Heartless Pillage, Deathless Agent, and our rare is Dire Fleet Ravager. We did get a second Mythic. Um, not one of the good ones, though. That's all right. We still got a little bit to go. All right. We have Pillar of Origins, Dinosaur Stampede, Bellowing Agisaur, and our rare is Sword Point Diplomacy. Any minute now, this box is going to just wow us. And be like, man, we had you going. You thought it was a bad box. Pillar of Origins, Ixlon's Binding, Sky Terror, that guy's pretty good. And then Entrancing Melody. Oh, we got a shiny. At least we know we got that much going for us. We have Emergent Growth. Bishop of the Bloodstained. Air Elemental and our rare is Priest of the Awakening Sun. And then a Foil Forest. getting there all right we have a belligerent brontodon dinosaur stampede stormfleet spy and our rare is deep root champion i mean i do need those so i guess that's kind of good and it's just because i want to have a play set <laughs> oh yeah all right 
We have Steadfast Armasaur. Siren Storm Tamer. That's not a bad card. Drover of the Mighty and our rare is Blood Craze Paladin. Alright, box. We have a talk. We got five packs left. We only got two mythic. Well, you know, I'm gonna include it just so I feel better. We got three mythics with the foil. Um, we gotta do something here. This is you know, you're looking kind of bad. We can do better than this. I know we can. All right, we have Grim, Captain's Call, Elaborate Fire Cannon, Walk the Plank, and our rare is Overflowing Insight. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't know. Maybe me and the box had a miscommunication somewhere. We have Wanted Scoundrels. Raptor Hatchling, a Danto Vanguard, and our rare is Marvin Fane, Dusk Apostle. Alrighty. Well, if you're about to pull a miraculous recovery, right about now is the time to do it. We have Makeshift Munitions, Imperial Aerosaur. Lurking Chupacabra, I just love saying that, and our rare is Captivating Crew. Mm, that's not too bad. Oh, we did get a foil cobbled wings. That's not even a good foil. Uh, I mean, you really can't see the foiling that well on camera, but this is a, a bad foil. Even the foil was bad. Wow. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, two packs left. Let's do something here. We have a Kite Sail Freebooter, Sentinel Totem, Bellowing Agisaur, and our rare is... Okay, so we got a foil flip card, or a, a foil, or a rare flip card. There we go. We have a, a Tepic Huntmaster as a foil, and our rare is Growing Rights of the Itlamok. That's not a bad one. We're going to put that in that pile. That's a little bit of money right there. So the box just got slightly better. Alright. Lightning Rig Crew. Sheltering Light. River Sneak into Rare is... <laughs> Axis of Mortality. For our fourth Mythic, we did get a foil version, but... Yeah, all right, well, um, we opened a box. We got cards. That's about all there was to say. Um, I really don't think any of this is uh, is really worth anything. Maybe, I mean, that might be a couple bucks. You know, Drown Catacomb, no, that's a couple bucks. Uh, the Banner's a couple bucks. Land Draw is a couple bucks. Fathom's Fleet Captain, I, I think, might be a buck or two. Treasure map, maybe. Amulet? I don't remember about that one. I honestly don't remember. Um, e. Yeah, um, the stuff that I know of actually worth some money. Um, two of them are flips. Um, we got the Growing Rights. Uh, essentially, this is the one that turns into the, the Gaius Cradle. Um, search for Ascanta. That's another one that's just... Uh, that's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Uh, hostage Shaker's worth a few. Alpha is worth a few. Um, our Mythics. Now, this guy is actually worth something. Uh, these other three, not so much. But um, as for foils, I think we got... Did we get two of that? No, it was Demolish was the red one. Um, really not a whole lot. We did get Axis of Mortality, and that's going to be... Uh, that's going to have some value for EDH. Um, oh, we did get the foil hostage taker. You know, I forgot about that. That's that's kind of nice. So, yeah, we got that. Um, rest of it. Ho, ho. What is this? Okay, so I, I, I didn't notice this, so I'm going to have to go back through this box and check this out. Um... 
<laughs> Silver lining. All right, so I'm going to try to get this so you guys can see it as good as possible. I'm going to take this card and I'm going to flip it upside down. Why don't you compare those two corners? See if you can notice a difference there. These are miscut. And that foils like it. And that foils like it. Um, that one is not. That foil is like it. Not as much, but it's still like it. That one is like it. Oh, man. Okay, this box just got better. That's almost a completely square corner right there. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're, we're doing better now. We're doing better. Um, miscuts is a niche, niche market, but it is a market nonetheless. Um, and they can fetch some uh, rather high bounties. Uh, I believe it was just the foils too, so... Yeah, okay, well this... Um, <laughs> this box just got better. Um, I, I honestly don't know what these will fetch. Um, it's kind of sad that the Mythic wasn't cut the same way or the Hostage Taker. Um, oh, well. I mean, it is what it is. But that's uh, that's still fun. We got yeah, one, two, three, four, five foils that were cut like that. And I'm just going to do a real quick look at to see. Yeah, it's looking like it was just those foils. I don't know. I'll, I will definitely go back through here and if I find anything else that stands out as uh, as miscut, I'll definitely um, post pictures um, or you know maybe even do another video for it. But yeah, it's looking like that was about it. But yeah, like I said, that that makes things a little better. Um, miscuts, anything unique like that's always fun to open. So, all right, well, yeah, our, our day just got a little bit better. Still not going to call it a great box, but we're going to say it was a, a decent box now. So, anyways, thank you very much for watching. Greatly appreciated. Um, if you liked what you saw, click the like button, subscribe, maybe share it, channel with your family, your friends, your loved ones, you know, everybody needs more of this magic in their life. So once again, thank you very much for watching. And as always, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, ChuckwagonMTG.